So after hitting record highs in the S&P in early May, the market saw a relatively sharp, uh, quick sell-off uh, between mid-May and mid-June amongst concerns about the Federal Reserve potentially tapering uh, their accommodative uh, policy regarding interest rates. And so while the market finished up for the quarter, um, it saw quite a bit of volatility that really hadn't been there for the first quarter and into the first half of the second quarter. So we really are stock pickers and we're very bottoms up in terms of what tends to drive performance uh, under any time period. But during the second quarter of 2013, the biggest contributors were some of our key sectors, uh, healthcare, particularly the biotechnology industry. Uh, some of the names that we own in technology, while a relative underweight to the benchmark, actually significantly helped performance um, due to the fact that some of our very innovative technology companies like Cree, SanDisk, and Seagate continued to perform very well on a fundamental basis and, and saw their stock prices rise uh, subsequent to that. And then energy stocks rebounded uh, after starting the year uh, in a relatively soft fashion, rebounded quite nicely uh, in the second quarter of 2013. It was generally a, a pretty strong quarter. Uh, the only sector that detracted was the basic materials area, and that is an area that we underweight, but that was a relative detractor for the quarter. So I think the Federal Reserve has made it clear that the broadly accommodative policy of keeping rates uh, near, uh, essentially near zero, are eventually going to have to uh, to have to end, and so. When I look forward, I think you want to continue to own companies that can grow in this environment where potentially you can have rising interest rates. Um, and I think it's very important right now to find market leaders, uh, companies that can take advantage of the uh, markets that we're in, where economic growth will continue to be tough to come by, um, rates remain low, and um, one of the big factors, I believe, is going to be companies that can take market share uh, in that environment should thrive. Companies that are innovative, that can grow during a still a relatively tough environment should get the benefit of multiple expansion. Um, but companies who've seen multiples rise simply because of uh, low interest rates and, and the big yield play might become tougher to come by. In other words, interest rates are now much more competitive uh, versus equities. So to me, growth is the real scarcity in the market right now. and. Uh, to me, growth stocks should trade at a premium uh, to the broad market, and they haven't. And that, to me, is an interesting dynamic. Uh, ultimately, the, the big arbitrage opportunity there is merger and acquisition activity, companies buying other companies. And with rates being very low, I think it's very likely that uh, a lot of the record cash on the sidelines uh, in terms of corporations can come back into the market, both in terms of stock buybacks, what's been dividend payouts. but but. Really, to me, M and A is the exciting and interesting uh, potential trend going forward. So, I think the market can continue to be choppy. Stock selection is going to be vital uh, for the next twelve to eighteen months, and um, I think it's really going to matter what you own versus broadly owning the market.